Hello, and welcome to this week's Muskie Daily. Tonight, we look into WMCA Weekend, Muskingum's Research Showcase, and the Louis O. Palmer Art Gallery's new exhibit. All that and more on tonight's Muskie Daily. It was a wild weekend for Muskingum University's campus as WMCO unleashed its three-day-long event on March 23rd through 25th. The annual three-day-long event known as WMCO Weekend kicked off on Thursday, March 23rd by hosting Brood Awakenings in Kelly Coffee House, where carnival-themed games were set up throughout the area and prizes were raffled off throughout the night. The weekend events continued into the next day with a dog adoption event where dogs from the Muskingum County Animal Shelter were brought to the John Glenn Gym to find their homes. All this led up to Saturday's Animal Encounters event where animals from the Columbus Zoo popped in for a visit. Welcome here. It's called an African Black-Footed Penguin. And uh, they are from the continent of Africa. He's full grown and he is uh, turning seven later this year. So he is a full grown adult male penguin. For Orbit Media News, I'm Anna Kramick. We are well into an inauguration week with a number of special events. This Wednesday, a special guest with an out-of-this-world portfolio was invited to give a lecture in the Boyd Science Center. Scott Perzinski, an astronaut, mountaineer, and scuba diver, just to mention a few, talked about his experiences with his friend and fellow Discovery Shuttle crewmate, John Glenn. It, it was really special to, to share outer space with John, um, a place that he had opened up back in 1962 for all of us Americans, and, and, then, uh, and then to just see what uh, a, a fine human being he was. His character was extraordinary, as I'm sure you know here at Muskegon, because he spent a lot of time here. Um, but he was a, a man who really focused on public service, and you know, it, it wasn't, you know, what's in it for me, but you know, how can I help you? Students who have been working hard on their research projects all semester presented their results yesterday. Andrew Dunlap explains more. Students gathered in the Boyd Science Center and Caldwell Hall to present their projects they have been working on since the beginning of the semester. Multiple fields of study were being presented, which demonstrated the time each student put into their work. Even the new president, Susan Hassler, praised everyone for their work. Well, it really exemplifies what we do, right? It's what we do here at Muskingum. The whole student, the whole learner, the whole world, so many varieties in these projects, so many exciting ideas. It's just, it's just really fulfilling. Everyone had to explain their work to the various judges that were in attendance, and many of them walked away with certificates of excellent work. For Orbit Media News, I'm Andrew Dunlap. The annual Senior Student Art Exhibition started this month and will continue until May 2nd. The Seniors Art Projects are available to see in the Louis O. Palmer Art Gallery, which is open weekdays from 9 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. and on weekends from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. You can contact the Academic Affairs Office for any questions. In this week's One Minute Review, Matt and Aaron talk about the most recent trailer for the new Justice League movie. Justice is served on this One Minute Review. We got the new Justice League trailer, trailer two, I believe. Yep, and it's kind of epic. Yeah, they don't show Superman, but for a good reason. They don't need to. They don't need to. They really just show a lot of the new uh, superheroes all interacting mm -hmm. again, and it's really cool. You get to see it more is. Flash. You see Flash. Aquaman. Aquaman. Uh, of course, Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman. Cyborg. Cyborg. You get a little more uh, action with him in there. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done much in other trailers. Yet, yeah. So. So yeah, it looks very cool, and Batman's back, of course, is the one bringing them all together. Yeah. And I'm very pleased with the way this is turning out, actually. Gotta be optimistic. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but it looks like we're gonna have plenty of action, too. Mm -hmm. Like, with the invasion and everything, and all of them trying to stop it. Especially the uh, big war scene, the big battle scene. That yeah, that <laughs> I, was, I was on there for like a second. 
Yeah. But it made me really curious. And obviously there's a lot of other people we have not seen. Uh, we have not seen the villain and there's a lot of other side characters related to all of these characters, the Justice League's different universes that are gonna be showing up as well. We did see Jim Gordon though, played by- Oh yeah, J.K. Simmons. Yeah. Point is, Justice League looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Still definitely a lot of unanswered questions, which is perfectly fine. Justice League comes out this November and I'm pretty excited for it. So. Yep, me too. See you next time. See you guys. Muskie Baseball finally got to play their doubleheader against Marietta Wednesday after seeing the games postponed four straight days. The Muskies could not come and win with away, however, falling 1-2-1 in Game 1 and 9-4 in Game 2. The Muskies now sit at 8-11 on their season. Muskie Softball came away victorious in doubleheader action against Wilmington at home Wednesday, talk, taking Game 1 4-2 and Game 2 6-3. Haley Dodson got the win in Game 1, with Haley DeVolt winning Game 2. The Muskies are now 34-0 all-time against the Quakers, after the sweep. The ladies now stand at 11-15 overall on the season, with a 3-3 mark in conference play. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's Muskie Daily. If you've missed anything, you can watch this and other episodes of the Muskie Daily on our YouTube channel, Orbit Media TV. Or if you want to see other news, you can go on to Orbit Media Online for all the new content and action we've got going on, like the Black and Magenta and WMCO. From all of us at Orbit Television, good night, New Concord.